Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for coming back, man. But uh, do me a favor if you're new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll let you know when I drop another video. And make sure you put in the comment section, I'm new here. All right. So today, what I'm going to be going over is the ultimate template guide for Cakewalk. So let's get right into it. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. This is my light theme. If you're interested in this theme or my dark theme, I have a link below in the description that you can download these for free. The first thing I usually start off with is going up to here to where it says workstations in this top right hand corner. Hit this drop down, make sure it's set on none. What that will allow you to do is set up whatever you want to inside a Cakewalk without any limitations. So if you have it on like the basic one, sometimes you'll be missing pieces inside of the template if you do it that way. All right. So the second thing I usually do is go here to this custom, go to all. So that'll show me all the steps underneath the tracks anytime I'm using the template. All right. The third thing I do is usually go to the tempo and I'm usually doing boom bat beats. So I'm just going to set this to 90 beats per minute. And you can set your uh, time signature if you want to right here. And I'm going to um, hit D on the keyboard and that'll bring up my docking station. I can bring this up some and I usually like to have it to where I can see the effects. And that's usually a good uh, measurement for me. Uh, your screen may be smaller or bigger. And, you know, this depends on what you want to see is what you will put in here. All right. So let's go over here to this is the uh, browser. So what I'm going to do is hit this little drop down here and I'm going to send it over to the left side of Cakewalk. Because I like it on the left hand side. This, this feels more comfortable over here for me. All right. And since we're here, we're going to hit on the MIDI, media. And I'm going to hit this drop down and I'm going to set it to view details. All right. And what this is going to do for me is actually show me uh, everything in a row. So I can just keep scrolling downwards instead of going left to right uh, when you're scrolling. Uh, after that, what we want to do since we're here is we can go into where it has audio library here. I can click on that. And if you know where you're keeping your sounds, or like your drum kits or anything like that, I have mine set in my music. So I can just have it set up right here inside of the media area. And then uh, what I want to do is go here to notes. And this is where you can actually set the picture for your template. So if you hit this plus sign, it'll give you an option to set up template. I'm going to go and use some of the cakewalk ones. So I'm going to go to uh, my C drive. I'm going to go to cakewalk content and I'm going to go to cakewalk core. And then we're going to go to track icons. And this is all the icons that you can set up inside of the cakewalk already has designated uh, for different things. So I'm just going to add one in here. Let's go into the synths and let's do this one. All right, so I have my icon set up. So when I go in to the template view, I'll be able to see this icon. And what I want to do is get rid of these down here, this metronome and this preview. So I'm going to hover over, click both of these. Then I'm going to right click on one of them and I'm going to go where it says delete two buses. So I'm going to delete those buses from off of here. All right, and we're going to just add on to this template as well. I just wanted to show you how to actually save it. So you want to go to your save. All right. And you want to make sure you have this set on template and you want to make sure this is set on template as well. Template files. So this will bring you to your template files inside of Cakewalk. All right. And I'm just going to name this one like YouTube. So YT1. And that'll name it as YouTube one, basically. And then I'm going to hit save on here. So now this template is actually saved inside of Cakewalk. All right. So um, usually what I want in my templates, I'm just going to move this over here, is some buses. So I'm going to add some stereo buses. I'm just going to right click down here in the stereo bus side, insert a bus. All right. And you can just set these up however you want. I'm just going to do some real quick. I'm going to set up a compressor. And these are all the, the Cakewalk stock ones, reverb, a delay. 
and let's do the uh, Juno for the chorus. All right, so we have four buses set up on here. All right, and now that we like, if we like that, we can just go up to the file and just hit save, and it'll actually save it to that same template. So if we actually close out of this, it's going to close this one out, and we're going to go to new projects, and now we have our YouTube One Cakewalk file that we created. And there are the buses that we created, and this is what the template will look like. I should have actually named these. All right, so I have those named in here now. So now that we have that set up in here, what we want to do is go over some track templates. And that's really easy to set up and do. So I'm going to hit on this plus sign right here. Go to Instruments. And let's do the BBC Orchestra. And I'm going to go and click on this Advanced option here. And I'm, I want it to have a folder. And I want instruments inside the track. I don't want this many. This is just basically a test run. So, all right. So we'll put four of them in here. All right. And I'm going to add another instrument. Let's do a uh, Satilla. And basically, I'm going to create a folder and do the instruments per track out for a Satilla. And let's hit OK on there. So now I have uh, all my sounds and I have my drums set up in here. And an easy way to do, you can actually set this up as a track template. You can make this as complex as you want it, or you can make it as simple as you want it. So if you just wanted to do just the, the BBC Orchestra, say these are just your instruments that you love, the, your favorite instruments that you uh, usually go to all the time, you can actually just save them. Just click on here, right click, and it'll give you an option that says uh, save as track template. And once you click on this, it'll open up the window so you can actually see your templates that you actually set up. So what I like to do is um, have like a tier system. So like if I wanted just the instruments, if I wanted just the drums, if I wanted both of them together, have a combination, I can do that. I can go and right click in here, go new, go to make a folder, and let's name this uh, YouTube one as well. All right, so now we have a YouTube one folder in here and we're just gonna name this uh, instruments one. And we've created that template. And let's say we want to do just the drums. Right click on here. Save as track template. Name that drums one. And let's say we wanted to do it. So let's say you had a you had a song that you already created or a beat that you already created and you wanted to save all the settings in there. You can just do a control all and then right click and then you can save as a track template for this too. And let's say I just name this one and then I can save it, right? So now if I go and right click in this empty area on the track section, I can go insert from a template. I go down to my YouTube one and I have all three of my things set up in here. So I can use any one of them and just have it set up really quickly as a track template inside a cakewalk. Um, I can also save this whole set it set up as um, a template. So if I wanted to start automatically like this, I can save the template as this as well. I'm going to write, I'm going to click on here, down here where it says master for this output. I'm going to hold down control and click on new stereo bus. And it's going to create a brand new stereo bus that all of these tracks are linked to for the drums. And I can just name it uh, drums as the drum bus, basically. Right. And let's say we wanted all of these which is the sounds, is they wanted their own auxiliary track. So I can click on here, hold down control and do a aux track, brand new aux track. And it's gonna create a new aux track right here, all right? So all of these tracks are going to this auxiliary track. And of course you can always color code all of them as well. So if you hold down control and you go over this little line here, make them all yellow, Let's go here. Uh, let's make these all blue. Or you can actually go from the drum bus and make them all blue, which is a little easier. So now the drum bus is linked to these sounds and this auxiliary is linked to this. And of course, if you want to save all this, you can do that as well. And it'll save it, the colors and the buses and the auxiliary as well. So I'm gonna do a control all to get, capture all of them, right click on the one here and go to save track template. Open this up and let's go hip hop two and save. All right, 
So now that we've actually done that, let's change this picture. We're going to go back into the C drive, go to Cakewalk Content. Let's go into Cakewalk Core. Go down to Track Icons and let's do Hardware. Yeah. So I'm going to use this turntable. All right. So now we have uh, that turntable set up there. All right, so now that we have everything set up in here, what we want to do is actually save this template. So we change the picture. So we should be able to go in here and go to uh, save as. All right, and what we want to do is name it. Let's name it uh, hip one for YouTube. All right, and we want to make sure that we are saving the type as a template and make sure it's saving into the template folder which we are in the project template folder. And for some reason, usually if I don't remove that CWT at the end of it, it doesn't actually save the picture. I'm not 100% sure why. I don't know if they're gonna correct that or fix it, but that should do it. And then I'm gonna hit file and I'm gonna hit close. Let's go into new project. And as you see right here, it has the hip hop YouTube with the record player. All right. So let's say you want to change the picture and you want to go to your C drive, cakewalk content, or core icons. And I went to hardware. Let's change it to this turntable. And then we go to file, we're gonna to go to save, then we're gonna to go to the folder for the templates. We'll put this one on template as well. Let's take off that. And now we just wanna do, let's say hip hop to YouTube. Oh, I put at. <laughs> Hip hop to YouTube, right? And then we hit save. All right. So now, if we actually close this out, hit file. Let's go to close. Let's open up a new project. And here is the hip hop two. And here is the hip hop, the first one we did. So this is how you would actually change or save your images inside of the templates. So let's rock with this one for right now. All right, and that is how you actually set up the track templates inside of Cakewalk. Uh, so you also have your picture set up with your template and you also have your track template set up. The last piece I'm gonna show you is actually saving templates inside of your step sequencer. So let's do that really quickly here. So I'm gonna open up Satilla and I'm gonna to go to the step sequencer by using this little icon here. And it's gonna bring up the step sequencer down below. So let's say we wanted to do some drums. Let's do a four to the floor kind of thing. All right, so we have that set up in here. Let's do some hi-hats. Right click on here, fill every two steps. So we have a basic drum pattern that we have in here. So you have this patterns, you go to patterns and you can save as pattern. So this will give you that option once again to do a template for even your drums. So if you hit save on there, it'll show you all the things that you um, have set up already. Uh, you can right click in here and make a new one, new folder. And let's name it uh, YouTube. All right, so I have YouTube drum. And I name it basics. So now I have this basic set up in here. So if I wipe out this pattern, so there's no pattern here now, I can go back into my patterns and load a pattern, go to my YouTube drums and set that up. And boom, it sets up those drums directly where I had them before.
And I hope you guys really got something out of this video uh, showing you the importance of actually having templates and it'll increase your workflow tremendously. I'm glad you guys actually stopped by here. Make sure you are joining the Discord. I'm actually having a sample flip contest as we speak and you can definitely be a part of that. Just join the Discord. The link is below in the description. And if you have like any questions, concerns, anything like that, definitely leave them below in the comment section. And once again, this is your boy, x.e.l.o. Until next time, people. Peace.